dear friends welcome to the monthly outlook on markets we are in the midst of corporate reset season initial trends have been as follows b2b and b2g sectors continue to report a very strong set of earnings on the back of a higher government capex we are seeing gradual improvement in the commentary on rural demand outlook discretionary consumption although has seen a mixed pack exports actually have remained weak for majority of the companies hiring trend among it companies continue to remain subdued however real estate sales have been record numbers also us sales for large companies within pharma space has actually been pretty decent we'll talk more about this in the next monthly outlook with this let us now move to outlook human minds actually find linearity easy to extrapolate while unlike this markets are rarely so very strong near term are extrapolated and so are short term disappointments similarly goes for performance sector style etc 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 however notwithstanding short term nuances in the market one thing that remain constant in driving investment performance is a key investment tenets and this includes growth in profits or cash flows cost of capital that is discounting rate longevity of growth and terminal growth rates and also flows at times can amplify these factors in the short period of time let us now evaluate these aspects first growth growth in profits growth in cash flows fy24 is a year when profit growth is driven by improvement in margins even as top line tapered growth took a pause not profits though margins today of india incorporate has reached a pretty decent level growth from year on we believe should be driven by improvement in revenues as well which is a rather healthier and a sustainable one now let us look at second aspect which is very critical and that is cost of capital globally there has been a systemic increase in rates by the central banks to curb inflationary pressures we have seen this in last two years the results of the same have actually been visible in the form of falling inflation we are now at a point where peak interest rate is in sight and should possibly see drop in rates in cy24 in india and developed economies in general fed may however deliver large rate cuts if recession risk escalate there is a high probability that fed rates will actually reach 4% by the end of this year historically though recession led rate cuts were no antidote to profit pain we have seen this in 2001 and 2008 consequently quality of management quality of business execution prowess ability of management to increase market share across varied business environment should play a vital role for profit differentiation and value creation as the interest rates in economy falls there is a downward pressure on bond deals along with cost of equity much like as bond deals fall there is a rise in bond prices but the proportionate change in prices is dependent on factors like convexity and duration duration shows the linear relationship between bond prices and interest rates and a bond with high duration will have a higher sensitivity to movement in bond yields this relationship is not linear and convexity captures this non linearity as convexity increases the embedded sensitivity falls similarly in the equity markets as cost of equity falls due to fall in interest rate there is a rise in its fair value however much like convexity in debt intensity of fair value change in stocks is a function of expected growth rate in the business businesses where this growth rate is high along with higher longevity of the said growth and a solid capital efficiency tend to command a higher p a fall in cost of equity results in higher change in value where assumed growth is higher for a longer period of time versus those that have assumed growth at a lower number 
At ASK, we have always focused on businesses where growth rates are generally high and these growth rates are secular. So to that extent, our businesses should benefit relatively more with falling cost of capital. Also, at times flows can amplify these factors in the short term. There has been a significant turnaround in FIA flows in calendar year 23. Global uncertainty though could hurt FIA flows in the emerging market, but India's superior growth prospect and bond inflows should cushion the impact. Moreover, the flows in the equity market from DIIs are likely to continue to stay resilient. We have also seen very large outperformance of mid-caps in calendar year 23. Also, small cap has been a stellar performer. However, this has driven valuation to a relatively higher levels as compared to what they used to trade in the past. This has resulted in fall in the contribution and weight of large cap in the broader index. Returns from year on are expected to be more driven by earnings delivery and hence execution prowess of management will be a differentiating factor. On balance, in calendar year 24, we expect not only volatility and bottom of stock performances as profit growth normalizes but also ample long term investment opportunities. While profit growth may decelerate from here on, we are positioned in the high quality, high growth part of the market and we expect this part of the market to do really well from here on. Thank you.